Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Solo Studio Lounge located here on the brand new NCL Prima. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a walkthrough and tour of not only my Solo Studio cabin, but also the Solo Studio Lounge. And it's actually pretty amazing. I'll also be going over things like the prices, things that I loved and hated about the accommodation, and pretty much anything you guys would be interested in. All I'm asking, of course, is that you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And of course, if you want to book this room or any other on any ship, for that matter make sure you check out our travel agent partners over at touring plans link in the description box below let's head in shall we so in order to access the studio lounge you do have to be staying in one of the studio cabins and it is part of a separate section of the ship in which you can only get in using your key card so as you can see the design is somewhat different when you compare it to the other general hallway outside and i really like what they've done with this it definitely gives you a unique feel and kind of makes you feel special as a solo guest here's my studio studio number 12557 so you just get in using your key card of course boom and you are in just like that give you guys a quick little scan and then we'll go into some details of the studio cabin now before we go into all the details i do want to say ncl did an amazing job with this setup right here i love the wood finish i love the glass door and just the design we will go more in depth in a minute but i will say this actually looks better than even the balcony state rooms and everything with the exception of the haven they did a really really great job here but we'll work our way around the room we'll start off with this pad here this is your control center for the temperature now i will say when i got here I had the heat all the way up and it was absolutely freezing. Now, thankfully they have since fixed it, but it's a new ship. So there are going to be some issues here and there, but I'm telling you, it was like Antarctica in here. But anyway, so you use this symbol here to of course do the heat, do not disturb. You do all this stuff to also signify that you want your room made up as well. So obviously this room is teeny tiny. It's 94 square foot, not big at all, but I do think they did a really good job of the design of making it look as spacious as possible. You could tell they put a lot of thought into how they were going to to allow for as much space and storage area as possible there are plenty of drawers for you to stick all your stuff now i will say that i have a pretty big standard american size bag it barely fit i didn't think it would but after some maneuvering i made it work you also have these shelves here there's of course the hangers and by the way i like the little lighting strip on here this can be controlled with this lighting buttons right here so let's say for if i turn this switch off it'll make it a little bit more dim or you could just also reverse it and turn this bathroom light off which also is connected to this light anyway let's keep walking around the room so like i said you got your hangers and all the stuff that you would need as far as storage decent storage space plenty of little cubbies you got your safe here as well working our way over to the table they do have water it's a shame that it's five dollars and fifty cents honestly i really kind of hate that i hate to compare but virgin they fill you up with free water all day long and it's absolutely amazing feature to have because well we're going to be doing a lot of drinking on board i think the water should be free but hey whatever i'm not judging of course they have this vanity mirror as well so you can use these lighting switches here one turns on the vanity mirror and then you also have additional lighting here with the second button if you let's say if you're doing makeup honestly the lighting here i was really surprised you can tell it's very 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 good lighting not bad at all room service you can either call using the phone here they have very clear instructions on who to call obviously guest services housekeeping spa but also you can use this guy here just scan it and you can use this to order room service as well i haven't tried it yet but i've heard good things now we go over to this side here you got plenty of outlets unfortunately the American outlets are not working. I did let the room stewards and guest services know, but like I said, it's a brand new ship. What are you going to do? However, you have a USB port, you have a European charger port, and you have two Americans. Under the desk, you do have the blow dryer, which I thought was a very strange place to put it. Either way, you do have good lighting over here, so you could make it work. You also have this little stool, which I was hoping that maybe it would open up for some extra storage, but it's okay. There is plenty of storage, however, under the bed. So if you needed to put your bag, your luggage, I just put my shoes there for now because I don't really need the space. But they did do a good job of allowing some extra room for storage if you need it here. Now, the bed, I got to say, I was legitimately surprised. It's not a king size bed or anything like that, but I want to say maybe it is a twin. I'm not really big with bed sizes because I'm not a super big guy, but it does look like a, what would this be, a full size? I am thought it would be, honestly, in this type of room, it'd probably be like a twin bed, something small, something that was really inconvenient and out of the way, which means if you, you roll over one time, you fall out of the bed, but no. And it's honestly extremely comfortable. Of course, you got a really nice mirror. Hey, how you doing? They also have a reading light here in case anybody wants to, you know, get some reading done, read a, a Harry Potter book or something, I don't know, but it's there available for you. I'll turn that guy off. 
over here as well by the bedside and of course i got my youtube plaque i'm proud of it take it everywhere i go you also have another usb port so if you need to charge your phone but this is also the main lighting as well so you can turn off all the lights with the exception of i believe the bathroom and the vanity mirror so the main lighting for the room could be turned off using these buttons we'll also check out this space here so there's it's not a super big closet but it does the job i put my suit in here it fit just fine with no hassle whatsoever so i would say if you have a suit or maybe even a dress i think it would be long enough space for you to put it here i also have my tech bag here and there's also another shelf below this one the tv situation is not bad at all as you can see you can do a lot with the tv check on your onboard account you can see the bars restaurant services all of that stuff but i do like that the tv is on a swivel as well so you can pull it out and you can turn it because a room of this size, I understand from a designing aspect, you can come into complications trying to find a balance between putting the TV in a good place and somebody actually being able to lie down comfortably and watch. Finally, we'll have a look at the beautiful bathroom. So as we walk up, you see this glass door here. It actually has a dual purpose. So it's not only the door, if you want to use it to close out the bathroom, you can also use it for the shower door as well. We'll go back in there in a minute. But it's not a big size by any means, obviously. But you got your towels here. You have, of course, the toilet. You have your extra roll of tissue and you have the regular roll right here. I will say what I've seen in other cabins, like the balcony cabins, you don't have this. You only have this roll here on the back for you to grab. So I don't know why they designed it like that. But for some reason, it's a better setup, in my opinion, if you're using the bathroom to use the, the toilet. But anyway, we're talking about toilets way too much. Take a look around. We do have more towels over here and one over here as well. They have the hand towels that you can use. There is some storage space here. There is also some here, two glasses. Now, the storage space, you can see it's a little tight but they do have three shelves available for you you also have another vanity mirror here you just turn the sky on and well the lighting here is amazing just like the rest of the room that's one thing i was worried about things being super dim but you also have the water pressure is not bad it does get extremely hot or cold if you want it so i haven't had a problem with that at all get your hand so another cup as well and that will make our way into the shower now like i said the design here is immaculate you look around, of course, you have your line here if you want to hang some wet clothes or whatnot. But there is also the shower head. It is, of course, detachable. And all of it is controlled. This is the temperature and this is the pressure. And I have not had a single problem. And the water gets really, really hot. Just keep that in mind. That's why I say watch the temperature because it can get hot very, very quick. But then, of course, you have your body washes and your shampoo as well. Now, finally, let's make our way to the studio lounge. I know everybody wants to see it. So on board the NCL Prima, the solo studio staterooms are located on deck 12 and deck 13. I'm lucky enough to be on deck 12 because this is where the actual studio lounge is. Everybody else is on 13 or upstairs. They have to come downstairs in order to come into this room. Let's check it out. Now, again, this is why I chose this option here because I like this feature. Now, this isn't the first time NCL has done something like this. Give you guys a quick scan. They also have this sort of room, the studio lounge on board the Breakaway and Breakaway Plus class ships, which includes, but not limited to, the NCL Bliss, the Encore, the Escape, which was a ship that I used to work on as a crew member, so I never got a chance to really see this area. But as you can see, it's very, very beautiful. As you can see, NCL has clearly outdone themselves and gone out of their way, but trying to make a convenient, beautiful, quiet place for all the solo guests that are sailing on board this ship. But in my opinion, it gets even better once you actually take a close look at what they actually did with this particular studio area. So over here, you do have your coffee maker. And I've had a couple complications here and there with it, but they have since fixed it. It doesn't exactly give off a Starbucks vibe, feel, or taste. But it definitely does the job considering you're literally right next to this room and you can come here and grab some coffee literally whenever you want. They have snacks out here 24-7 that they do replace and make sure they're fresh. In the morning time, they do have things like croissants and uh, of course they always have fresh fruit out as well. And like I said, with the cookies and everything else, it's still not a bad touch considering you're literally right next to this place and you always know that it's not going to be bombarded with a bunch of people. It's always available to you. What was strange to me about this is that I thought you had to have the drink package in order to use this but it's not really a big deal you can just press what you want without having to scan so i guess everybody that's staying in the studio lounge automatically gets free soda uh, but anyway also over here which is crazy to me there is beer now this you do have to pay for all you do is scan your card here if you have the drink package or it will charge your card and they have smoked peach margarita monkey business and look at all of this bud light pretty cool that they even have these options and you can pour it yourself here over in this area, there is plenty of, I want to say maybe like restaurant style sitting. But then if you work your way over to this other side here, there's plenty of other areas that will give you more of a library-like feel. So we'll do just a quick walkthrough so you guys can see. 
nothing too special about it but like i said the design and setup in my opinion is extremely beautiful there's nothing i would really point out i have been sitting here getting some work done recording videos as well but i will say because this is a solo studio lounge the only people that can come here are solo studio guests and maybe yes they can bring people in here but by saying that this is an area that is primarily going to be pretty much empty all the time so if you want a quiet place to read a book and relax the temperature here is really nice it's not too cold not too hot this is definitely the place to do it and like i said they do host solo meetings for everybody so they can all gather with each other if they want to meet people here they usually meet over in this area once a day and then there's games that they've been playing yahtzee and checkers and monopoly don't ever play me monopoly by the way i'm the best server has ever been now, I do have to say, if I had to rate this whole area between the solo studio cabinet and the studio lounge, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. This is without a doubt, if you're a solo sailor and you want the best bang for your buck, this is probably the best option for you. The studio alone, in my opinion, is worth it. If you want a convenient, quiet, nice place where you can read a book, hang out, maybe have some cookies and have a good time, or maybe bring one or two people back where you can have a private conversation, well, you can do that right here. Now, as far as the pricing, I know a lot of you are curious. I personally paid for a 10-day sailing over here in Europe. We are sailing out of Amsterdam, and we're going to eight different ports and then finishing up in Copenhagen, Denmark. The room for the studio, or the price rather, was $1,800. I did tackle an additional $250 to get the free at sea, which comes with the Wi-Fi package, the premium drink package, excursions, and all that stuff. But $1,800 is not a bad price. But here's the kicker. It was more expensive than the inside for this particular sailing. The inside was $100 cheaper at $1,700. And the ocean view was around the same price as the studio, which I know is maybe not normal for, let's say, typical peak season and sailing times. But honestly, I got to say overall, no matter how you look at it or spin it, that is not a bad price at all. Anyway, that's what we got. I hope I didn't miss anything. But if I did, please let me know your questions in the comment section below. I appreciate you guys. I love all of you. Make sure you hit that like button on the way out. I have Tons of videos coming up on the NCL Prima. I'm here for eight more days. So, well, who knows what could happen. There's a lot of good stuff that I have coming up for you. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you later. Take it easy.